All right, there was something else called FOMO. I said, what is a FOMO? channel i have to tell you guys your support has been really amazing if you're new to this channel we're just about three months 90 days of being on this channel and we're getting some great feedback so i just want to thank you guys for supporting this channel please be sure to like comment and subscribe throughout what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I want to let you guys know uh, that it is the views. It doesn't matter if it's five or 50. We're touching someone's life with this channel and you're a part of that. So I just want to thank you. All right. So today we're going to be talking more on the, I know we do the mukbangs or the mukbangs and we do a lot of different things on this channel. And then a failed prank attempt. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Um, but we do a lot of things on this channel because it's called the let's build together. So we're building in all areas. Okay. And some of us, even us being entrepreneurs, sometimes we got to loosen up a little bit. Okay. And let's build. So today I'm just going to take a little spin and we're going to be on the lane or the boulevard of mentorship or maybe guidance um, where we're talking about the effects of social media. So you guys know if you have visited me before, I go ahead and I make my notes in my nice little notebook. So happy to have this book. Thank you to my friend. And then I dropped it. There's a blooper for you. Hey, listen, I record only once. Whatever the Lord spits out of this mouth, that's what's coming to you guys, okay? So um, what I wanted to share with you guys was the effects of social media. I think it's something that we really need to talk about now. As I did some research on this, okay, and listen, I'm not telling you guys anything that you that you probably don't already know. I'm just bringing it to you, the Makia Toche style, okay? So what I would like to say is, is that, what I would like to say is that the effects of social media can be really, really hard on the teen and the adolescent community. But I need you guys to understand that social media can affect adults. So I'm just gonna kind of run down through my notes. We're just gonna have a brief conversation about this i think it's very important and if you know of someone i mean we talked about approval addiction so if you haven't seen that video check my video out on approval addiction and i think it kind of ties in with the effects of social media so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dive in and again please go ahead and like comment and subscribe tell your family tell your friends there's something new and fresh on the YouTube uh, station in the YouTube world. And that's Makia Troche and the channel and the people that we bring in uh, to this channel. And then the lives that we're touching on the opposite side of this camera. So again, I wanna thank you. All right, so I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna look at my notes. I'm gonna try to bring my notes up to me uh, so you guys know that I keep that eye contact. You guys are so serious. You guys are serious about maintaining your eye contact. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? All right. So let's talk about it. So obviously we know what social media is. It's all your social media platforms. It's where you share your life, your pictures. Uh, you know, if you got a new job, your animals, your, your business adventures, your graduations. It is, I think social media initially was created for relatives that were distant. And then we had this neutral place that we can keep up with what's going on in each other's life even if we're not speaking to each other every day. I want to take a guess that that is what Facebook was created for. Facebook was created so that we can stay in connection. It has totally changed from the, from the conception of Facebook to where we are today 
in this day and age, Facebook, social media platforms have changed. I'm talking about your uh, Facebook. I'm talking about your Instagram. I'm talking about your Snapchat. I'm talking about any other platform out there that I'm not aware of. It has now changed. It has now um, started to affect the mood and the way people are in your relationships. And so I want to talk about it because if I talk about it, then if, if, if it's you or if it's someone that you know, or if you're a parent and it's your teen, you can start to identify with some of the effects that we deal with from over usage, I would say, of social media. I think you can use social media in a very healthy way. I use social media a lot because I'm an entrepreneur, uh, but there, everything has to be done in moderation. So let's go ahead and jump into this, okay? I don't wanna keep you guys too long. I don't wanna keep the video too long, I should say, okay? There's my eye contact, okay? All right, so did you know that social media leads to depression, anxiety, poor sleep patterns, low self-esteem. I was like, what? Then here's another one. No matter how many friends you have on your social media platform, people still feel loneliness, even with what's going on. A lot of that could be because, especially for my singles, I have a heart, I'm, I'm married, and I've been married for over 20 years. But there's a, there's a soft spot in my heart for singles because I feel like singles are forgotten about every once, in a, every once and again, okay? I feel like they scroll through and they see marriages or relationships and things like that, and then that's something that they desire. But I wanna let you know that everything you see on social media is not real. Not, I mean, a majority of it is, but there's people who have this facade or, you know, or even in the celebrity world, there's this facade, there's this brand that has to be maintained and therefore indirectly because they're keeping their brand up or they're keeping this facade up that every marriage is perfect. And I'm going to tell you that it's not. I'm happily married, thank the Lord. But not every situation is like that. And then it affects our singles because they're looking and they're like, you know, black love and black this and love and unity. Or, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter uh, what nationality, what race you are. I'm just saying, I always see hashtag black love or whatever the case is. And so that's not always necessarily the case. The problem is it leads to loneliness and then you start to desire something that may not even be real and it causes a negative effect on you. If I'm making any sense to you guys right now, go ahead and give me a like, uh, you know, a comment, Hit, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make, you know, definitely, I definitely, definitely want you to comment on this topic. Okay. So, I mean, I was reading and I was like, wow, that's serious. You get what I'm saying? All right. There was something else called FOMO. I said, what is a FOMO? F-O-M-O, -O, FOMO, fear of missing out. That is actually a label when you're dealing with the effects of social media. So if you're at work and your employer has deactivated the uh, code or you don't have access to nothing but Google, but you, but you try to put in Facebook and it's blocked and you just like in a panic attack, you got sweat beads on your head, you have FOMO according to what I read. You have a fear of missing out. How many of you, because I can admit to this, listen, I always tell you guys, if I'm telling you something, I'm going to admit it for myself, okay? I remember not too long ago, went to a doctor's office, and I was like, excuse me, like halfway dying, right? Excuse me, can I get your password for your Wi-Fi? Oh, we don't have it. You don't have it? So our whole world changes. I think we all have a little bit of that FOMO, that fear of missing out. But then there's going to be some people who it affects to the point of depression. And that is something that we need to deal with, okay? And if that is you, again, I always say, go ahead and seek professional you know, help about it because people have an addiction in, to social media, okay? 
I'm looking at the time. I don't want this video too long. You know why? Because if I got to edit anything, it's a lot of time, okay? But I'm doing this for you guys. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and uh, always hit the post notification bell so you know when I'm dropping the latest and greatest. Y'all thought I forgot. I didn't. All right, here we go. Wasted time. How many hours do you spend scrolling through social media? I don't understand. Listen, you can have carpal tunnel from all of this. Where's the other phone? Carpal tunnel just from scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Let me tell you something. In this new year, decrease your time of social media. If someone needs to get in contact with you, that is what Messenger is for. They can contact you via Messenger. Post what you need to post related to your business. Post pictures about your kids first day of school, that you got your LLC, that you're starting this adventure, that you're on vacation. All of that is beautiful. And then come off of social media. Because the hours, I love that the iPhone, I know some of y'all may not be team iPhone, even, you know, I'm not going to say anything to the Android users, so don't throw no shade at me, okay? I love that the iPhone will say, this is your weekly report on how many hours you were on social media. I love that each week it says that it's down. No, as much as I post pertaining to my businesses, my view time and screen time is still down. How much time are you putting into scrolling through social media? Indirectly by doing so, the kids probably haven't eaten. You probably were supposed to write a paper. You probably were supposed to take care of some business, get some invoices out, do some planning. You were probably supposed to be doing something very important, but instead, Social media has a grip on you. And so it is wasted time, okay? Don't waste some more time in this year. Time is non-refundable. You can't get your time back, okay? And then half the stuff we see on the timeline, we spend time blocking people or unfollowing people and all this other stuff. You wouldn't have to do that if you would be self-disciplined enough to step away from social media. Give yourself that space and focus on some positive things. Not everything on social media is negative and that's not what I'm saying, but there are some negative effects to being on social media too much, okay? All right, comment, like, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you know when I'm dropping the latest and greatest. I hope you guys are enjoying this content right now because I think it's very important, okay? Hopefully you think the same. All right, let's keep going and then I'm done. Yep, let's keep going. All right, so when I read this, I said, oh, they need to know this. My YouTube family need to know this. Do you know that depression is the third leading cause of death? So here's the scenario. You're on Facebook a lot. Now you start to get depressed, recently divorced, a breakup, relationship issues, family issues, whatever the case is, lost a job, whatever the case is, scrolling through Facebook, not making your situation any better. And then I'm assuming, this is just an assumption, okay? I'm gonna say it's just an educated gander. Guess that depression is widespread and there's other reasons for depression. But I do think that if it's related to social media, and it's the third leading cause, I would throttle back. I would throttle back if social media has a negative effect on you, okay? And it says that women are um, two times at risk for um, <laughs> having depression than men. I think, I think a lot of it is because we're emotional about whatever we see or whatever we post or whatever the case is. So again, if you have not seen my approval addiction, I want you to go ahead and take a look at that video. I think the approval addiction video kind of ties into what I'm talking about, you know, the effects of social media, okay? So seven out of 10 people use. So if it's 30 people in the room, you can do the math. Every seventh person, you know, seven out of 10 people are using social media. We, we, we want to do better this year. And I'm going to tell you why we want to do better this year. We want to do better every single year because we want to be productive and 
Social media is wasted time unless that is your actual job, unless you're a content developer, unless you're a, can you hit that fan for me? Unless you're a content developer, unless you are, th this is what you're paid to do, it is wasted time. And if you're not getting paid for the time that you're spending on social media, then you're neglecting your business and all the other adventures and things that you can do to generate income to come into your home, okay? So I want you guys to be okay with taking a hiatus from social media. It's absolutely okay for you to shut your page down for two or three days and just be okay with it, okay? If you haven't seen my do you know when to rest video? Take a look at that because that could be it too. Sometimes you just need to rest from social media, okay? If I'm helping you guys, go ahead and drop a comment and make sure you give me a thumbs up, okay? I really, really appreciate it. We're almost done, all right? So they, they statistics have said that there isn't such thing as social media addiction. I was blown away by that, okay? Um, so people start to crave to get on social media. Some people have withdrawals. Some people are frustrated when you're not able to access social media. We talked about that earlier. A lot of people are in denial about the amount of time that they spend on social media. It's no different than our gamers. You know, our gamers are serious when it comes. I mean, they're from sunset to sunrise, sunrise, sunset, no matter which way. Gamers are like on the internet or whatever the case is. At some point, it can be, it can be, um, it can have a negative effect on you, okay? So I'm not saying to just throw the whole phone away in regards to social media and throw the computer away. I'm saying that we wanna have healthy living. And in order to have healthy living, we have to do things in moderation. It's no different if I was telling you about food addiction or things like that. I'm just saying that if social media is so such a big part of your life and it doesn't generate you an income, you have to you have to start to evaluate that, okay? Like I said, unless you're a content developer and this is what you do, unless you're a publicist and this is what you do uh, for your clients, you put the content out and all those other things, okay, good. Even then, you still need to do things in moderation because people may have negative things to say. There's a lot of positive, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of quotes, there's a lot of inspiration flowing through the social media outlets, but we just wanna be careful, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. The one thing that I do wanna tell you guys in regards to the um, effects of social media, I want you guys to have the willpower to just log off. I, I, I'll tell you, I'll put my page under construction. I will put my page on a hiatus and just take that time away. And if you can give yourself two or three days without being on social media, I don't think that you're gonna have those negative effects that we talked about earlier, the loneliness, the you know, the depression and things like that. And so I'm hoping um, if you are a person that spends a lot of time on social media and you're not able to get a lot of the things done that you need to do, that you would consider this video as a resource in trying to make sure that you limit your time and give it a healthy portion because we don't want you neglecting school. We don't want you neglecting your business plans. We don't want you neglecting your clients or whatever it is that you're trying to do because you're spending so much time on social media. So it is my hope that this has helped you. I want you to like, I want you to comment, I want you to subscribe. And as always, I want you to hit that post notification bell so that you know when I am dropping the latest and greatest. Listen, take the effects of social media and make a change today. I'm out of here. Mwah. X. O. Boom.